Hey gang, it's Demi D. Really, really excited because my package finally arrived. Uh, DHL, you know, coming in with the fast shipping. They were supposed to come yesterday, um, but you know, no harm, no foul. I'm really, really excited to open this stuff up. As you can see, it's like a really, really big old box full of junk. Um, now I know I'm always kind of clamoring for people to do like videos and, um, you know, especially for like the random stuff, right? I don't know. I get a, I get a kick out of, uh, seeing people open stuff that they don't know what they're expecting. Um, so I figure I might as well set the standard. Um, and yeah, believe it or not, I myself have something that I don't fully know the contents of. Um, so yeah, just to shed a little backstory, maybe about three weeks ago or so, um, there was a lot on Yahoo Auctions that had both a Tomahawk Man SP and a Dive Man SP. Both, uh, like, substantially rare link chips, both of which I'm missing. Um, now, I had um, a partner with ZZ. Uh, you know, we figured we'd split some of these chips and get it going. I told him if it went over, you know, 320 bucks, like, we'd bow out, because just kind of, uh, you know, there wasn't, like, too much else that was, like, super, super exciting. Um, and I'm patient. And yeah, unfortunately it did go beyond uh, 320k yen. So, you know, I bowed out and I was kind of sad because, man, Tomahawk SP and Diamond SP, like two, two chips that would have been really, really awesome to have in the collection. Um, <laughs> now, Shady, I think this was maybe a few days before the auction ended. Not even like, you know, seriously or anything. Just kind of mentioned offhandedly that, um, you know, there's this one lot on Mercari. It's 250k yen, but based off, um, I want to say Step Sword and maybe like Muramasa in there, which are promo chips, by the way, if you're curious. Um, they also have a little not for sale um, indicator on the chip itself, so another way to tell it's a promo. Um, yeah, kind of offhandedly said, you know, this lot has got these promo chips, you know, could have Tomahawk SP. Now, I had a little PM discussion with him, which, uh, you know, we joke around a lot, and um, I basically told him, like, I'm going to get this thing if I don't win this, you know, this dive man auction, uh, which, of course, like, he, like, what are you talking about, Demi, like, trying to talk me out of it, like, that's so foolish, that's, like, 250 yen or 250 bucks, like, that's a lot of money, um, and I don't even think this lot has a, a link PET in it, which is, like, definitely a big strike against it, most of these guys, oh my god, look at this thing, most of these big old lots, um, like at least have a PET in there. I don't think this one did. It's been a while since I checked at it. Um, and I definitely feel nervous. I'm not going to lie to you. Because uh, 250 bucks is a lot of money, especially to spend on something that's not like going to be a PET. So anyway, I am almost certain this is it. I mean, this is just a massive, massive spread here. Um, now, scouting out that image, uh, there was like definitely at least one um, like green BCS chip. I'm definitely missing a few of those, which is exciting. Um, pretty sure I saw like a... Uh, proto man like a red navi data i think maybe even a dark proto man so hopefully it's not going to be like you know disastrous <laughs> but honestly like i feel i feel the disaster coming i feel this is not this is not going to end well for me so anyway uh just kind of i'll just fucking jump it out why not and let's uh give you one more look at this behemoth of a lot my goodness um okay so we've got a we've got a dark rock man you know not horrible. Definitely, uh, we definitely take those. Ground Mound, fairly rare. Nabby Data. Um, I see a Tomahawk here. You know, Tomahawk, pretty cool. Um, an orange chip. Oop, that is Gundel Soul 2. Unfortunately, it looks like the label's like just a little bit. Mm, maybe just like a tiny, tiny, tiny bit off. I'm sure someone intelligent can fix that. Ooh, that is really unfortunate. <laughs> it looks like the uh looks like the red oh my god i can't believe i fell for this i <laughs> looks like the red navi chip is uh is charge man it's not that's not proto man oh boy that uh that is really <laughs> that is really unfortunate um uh, oh fuck me this <laughs> this is not voting well we got heat man that's pretty cool um obviously there's just so many great chips it's like impossible to you know, to sort through them all with, like, any sort of speed. Aqua Dragon, actually, I've been missing, so that's, that is pretty cool. 
Uh, we got a sealed Bubble Star 2. I think that's like surprisingly uncommon. I know a lot of people um, are looking for Bubble Star, so that's kind of cool. Um, ooh, I see some more colored chips. We are looking at a Colonel EX, ECS, Tengu, and another Tomahawk Man. Boy, this is a lot of a lot of Navi data. Our good old favorite Rock Man data. The old boring classic. Uh, yeah, some more BCS stuff. Um, ooh, wait a sec. Maybe I misspoke. Ah, okay. Whew. That soothes the soul a little bit, doesn't it? <laughs> it turns out there is, in fact, a Proto Man, so that is pretty sweet. Um, Elect Man, my favorite Navi. Represent. OG. Ooh, we got a red chip, too. Ooh. Yeah, we got a BCS base. Okay, this is like... This is definitely not $250 worth, but, like, kind of getting back there. Um, oh, my God. This is... Boy, this is the worst Heat Man EX I've ever seen in my entire life, which is, uh, which is really unfortunate, considering it's a yellow chip. Uh, you know, um, normally I'm not really a fan of, like, you know, taking off labels and, and doing things like that, but I've definitely got a regular Heat Man EX that I would not mind sacrificing the label for to get this guy looking good again because that is that is definitely a tragedy um oh we got another yellow chip here with uh killer man ex we've got a, a classic base i don't know what um where the just the classic base came from i know base anomaly is kind of looked after every now and then um i think he's more rare than the normal base meteor knuckle which is actually um the last giga chip i'm missing so that is nifty more white stuff um yeah, you know, I'm going to save you some trouble here. It doesn't look like there's anything, like, super, super exciting. Now, granted, you know, Dive Man and Tomahawk Man, they're, they're great chips. So, you know, I wouldn't know, I wouldn't necessarily know, like, right away. They don't stand out like a sore thumb like those BCFs chips do. But actually, I'm looking at some, like, decently uncommon stuff. You know, we've got machine guns and bubble stars. So, anyway, um, I'll just hop to the more exciting stuff because... Uh, you know, it doesn't look like anything, like, way too crazy is happening here. Um, but, yeah. Uh, I guess, like, one final look here at, like, the sort of quote-unquote notable chips. Oh, my God, is that, uh... Oh, no, that's Killer Man. Dang, I thought it was, um, Dark, uh, Dark Proto Man. Killer Man's pretty cool. And actually, another red BCF chip, so... That was not, uh, totally horrendous. Yeah, so let's, uh, try to just, like, get, like, a little, little shitty pile here going, uh... Yeah, not, uh, not horrible. Um, and definitely, like, all this stuff is for trade. Um, I have, I have most of these, to be, to be totally honest. Um, I bought this on the, on the total mize that, like, maybe Dive Man and Tomahawk Man would be in there. Um, so yeah, definitely tons to trade, uh, which is always exciting for the community. Um, okay, so here's something, uh, always fun. These little battle chip files, um, you know, frankly, the quality of the inside, in my opinion, is not nearly as up to snuff as, like, the DX binder is. Um, which is strange, because it seems like like you would think they'd be identical. Maybe Japanese people just don't take as good care of um, the little binders as they do the big ones. Doesn't look like anything too crazy in here, unfortunately for me. We've got a Sandworm 3, and, um, and a Summon Black 3, both of which I'm pretty sure are BCS chips, so that's pretty cool. I love these little files, though. I, mean, I know they're... I know the quality is, like, halfway, um, but I'm excited for this one, because I hope it's the one I'm looking for, um, I won't sell it out. When I see it, I'm just gonna have a totally legit reaction. Yep, here it is. Oh my gosh. Come out, come out. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you. This is probably my favorite trip, like, period. Like, of all, you know, advanced, progress, link, you name it. Um, that right there. Unfortunately, it's got the, the mirror reverse. Uh, hub batch. Orange BCS chip. Um, I know, like, most people in the community are all about, like, base and Proto Man, like, the really obvious cool Navi. Um, I don't know. I love Hub. I'm not, uh, I can't really tell you why. I can tell you that art is incredible. I love the art. Um, sweet Giga chip. Really, um, really awesome. And I, I love just having the color variant. That's why collecting the BCS chips are so fun, really. Um, and yeah, speaking of uh, BCS stuff, we got a Blastman EX, and seeming like infinite Navi data. I think I'm just swimming in Navi data nowadays. Um, keeping my eyes up for uh, for a blue kernel too, um, which is also kind of a rare chip. Um, yeah, that's awesome. I'm 
just beyond stoked to finally have that orange hub batch. And believe it or not, um, I think the only Giga chip from the BCS that I'm missing now is Media Knuckle. I'm pretty sure that's an orange one. All right, who knows what this is? I'm just going to bust it open and we'll find out. <laughs> Here we are. Okay, we've got Bubble Wrap Inception. Oh my, there's a lot, there's a lot going on here. Okay. Um, ooh, okay, so this is uh, those classic, like, progress, progress trip uh, cases. I think they're cool. I wish they, I wish they'd hold more chips. I think they hold about 12. So not, like, you know, super ideal for, you know, storage purposes, but they look really sweet. Um, I think I've seen Jimmy, uh, I don't know how to pronounce that, Neut Neutrinibus, <laughs> Jimmy Neutron. Uh, I think I've seen him uh, put all his progress chips, uh, his progress Navi data in there, which I think is probably one of the better things you can use these for. Um, yeah, let's take a look on what's inside. Oh my, I'm just like flinging it all over the place. Yeah, okay, cool. So uh, we've got some of the uh, operation battle chips. We've got drill mode and uh, curse shield. L Kershield, and some Navidata too. Uh, Search, Napalm, and Gyro. I've already had Gyro, so Gyro is definitely up for trade. These two, super excited to get. Um, don't remember how much I paid for it, but it was probably a good deal. Nowadays, I'm really only buying stuff if it's like, if I'm really missing it, or if it's just like, you know, kind of uh, too sweet. Looks like... Oh, yeah, so these guys were also part of that big lot. I was wondering, um, what else? Yeah, they're not, like, too exciting, just kind of, like, sealed chips. Um, you know, we take those. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you, uh, this is kind of, like, the exciting stuff. Uh, what the heck? Okay, I'm totally baffled here. I definitely did not order anything like this. Maybe this was like a freebie from a from a Japanese seller. This looks like the part of a cyber sword. Like you could um, maybe swap one of like uh, Mega Man's arms for for like a long sword. That's pretty cool. It's in a little Ziploc bag, so yeah, I'll just bust it open and see what's see what's going down. Um, looks like maybe even a a Mega Buster too. I know it's kind of kind of hard to see. That's awesome, you know? Uh, I'll take it. <laughs> um, I'm not super big on uh, figures and things of that nature, so if anyone is interested, they are more than welcome. Um, let's see here. Yeah, frankly, I think this is kind of the end of, like, the spicy stuff. Uh, ooh, what is this? Okay, once again, unless uh, unless these were just, like, extra pages that I never took a look at, I do not remember getting this at all. This looks like a 4.5, like, strategy guide, maybe? It's like a walkthrough for the game. Or maybe just, like, a ton of chips. Yeah, bust it open, see what's, uh, see what's going on. Okay, wow, this is a, this is a tight squeeze. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like just like a straight up strategy guide. Um, same thing. I'm not. I mean, this is really cool. I'm not um, necessarily like the biggest fan uh, or collector of like um, strategy guides. So same thing. This and the sword. Um, feel free to feel free to reach out. I'm definitely down to hook it up. Um, what is this? <laughs> It looks like a tin. I feel like a like a kid on <laughs> getting Christmas. So we got a Harry Potter tin. Zero percent chance I ordered anything Harry Potter related, but let's uh, let's crack a peek in here. Got some tape on the sides. Um, <laughs> Harry Potter. Wow, that's hysterical. You know, I guess it's a global a global franchise. Even the uh, our old Japanese friends are. Clearly really big on Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. 
as we all are, or were at some point. So. All right, let's see if I can pop this open really quick. No? You gotta come out? Knowing me, it's gonna fly everywhere. <laughs> no questions asked. Yeah, I need to get the other side. I'm sorry for, uh, for taking forever, but I know for a fact I have no handle on my grip. It will for sure fly everywhere. Uh, it will be a massive mess and it will be very unfortunate to clean up. So let's do this the old fashioned way. All right. Uh, ooh. Okay. So we've got a, a Progress Dark Thunder. Looks like we've got some Navi data too. What was I missing in this? I don't, I don't remember this at all. That's the funny thing too about ordering. Oh. Okay, now, now I remember why I got this. We got Burning Man DS. That is, that is hot. That's some, that's some hot shit right there. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything else like too, too spicy. Um, we got Navi data. Oh, heck, uh, okay, Windman. That's like, people are definitely missing that. And I've already got one. So once again, more, more stuff for the trades. Um, Burner Man and a sweet uh, Harry Potter tint. <laughs> uh, thank you, Japan. Thank you, uh, Nihon. All right, uh, anything else of note? We've got some more uh, advanced chips here. Anything at all that might bring the spice at the at the last minute? Although, man, Burner Man DS. Don't think I'll do better than that. Oh, okay. No, no, we do. We got something spicy here. I was speaking, uh, speaking too quickly with the Burner Man. Uh, we got a holy dream. Beautiful chip. <sighs> Wish it weren't. So, uh, so glue damage that always, uh, that always really bums me out, but, uh, you know, that's my, that's my first holy dream. So that is always awesome. Looks like we got a bug, uh, bug charge. No, not bug charge, uh, bug line. And yeah, just, uh, just a bunch of junk, really. <laughs> so I guess I'll, I'll show you one last glimpse of my, uh, my chip layer. Got to sort through all these bad boys. Wish me luck in finding... The fabled uh, Tomahawk SP or Diveman SP, I <laughs> don't think it's super likely, but, um, you know, uh, maybe. <laughs> and like I said, um, if you're interested in, you know, uh, like a longsword figure piece, uh, <laughs> if you're interested in Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, um, heck, even like some of the files, um, I'm definitely down to trade, definitely down to hook it up. Um, that uh, 4.5 strategy guide is pretty cool. I wonder if Neto, Neto might be interested. Um, okay. Well, anyway, it's been like 18 minutes. I'm sorry. I hope uh, this was entertaining for you. I could have really sped it up for sure. But, um, you know, love you guys. And, uh, you know, uh, battle routine set execute. <laughs>